My name is Frank Zolko. I'm an Associate Professor of History and Environmental Studies at the University of Vermont, and I am a Carson Fellow at the Rachel Carson Center, and I'm in the cluster dealing with environmental ethics, politics, and movements. My topic at the Carson Center is to look at a history of holistic thought, particularly ecological holism. And I do this within the context of the idea of modernity and disenchantment. In a way, my, the inspiration for that topic is Max uh, Weber, the famous German sociologist, who declared in 1917, in a speech he gave here in Munich, that uh, modernity was disenchanted, that um, all the kind of older modes of being in the world, um, the kind of spiritual, religious ways of interacting with the world, had been, at least for sort of the more sort of educated Western population, had been eviscerated, had been destroyed by um, mechanistic and reductive science, by bureaucracy, uh, and by various other aspects of modernity. Uh, and so I uh, argue that holistic thought actually runs counter to this trend of, of disenchanted modernity. It actually is, in many ways, fu a fully modern form of um, thought in the sense that it's based on science, particularly the science of ecology, uh, but it drives to see the world in a holistic fashion. Um, it self-consciously tries to move away from these reductive modes of thinking, particularly reductive science, and to uh, view the world in this interconnected, holistic way. To see, how, to see nature functioning in that way, to see human societies as functioning in this holistic way, and to see the connections between society and nature as deeply holistic. There's numerous authors over the course of at least the last hundred years who could be said to fit into this holistic tradition. And it's very much at least a transatlantic tradition, if not a global tradition. Um, you see it in Germany, in Britain, the United States, Canada, um, a few other parts of the world as well. Uh, I think that some of the most important thinkers in this tradition were people such as Rachel Carson, who had a deeply holistic worldview, uh, and also, for that matter, was very inter much interested in using ecology, or holistic ecology, as a way to help re-enchant the modern world. Um, if you look at some of her writing, you see that one of the things she tries to foster very much is a sense of wonder, particularly among children. Um, who, when they're playing in nature or interacting in, in the natural world, um, she felt should be inspired, should sort of feel a sense of magic and wonder about this. And we should introduce children to the natural world with this in mind. And you know, only by doing that will we have sort of adults you know, who grow up to have this kind of holistic consciousness. Uh, and that will, that will make people more inclined to think more about the way they interact with their environment and with society as a whole. It will make them better human beings. So Rachel Carson is one of the key authors, I think, in the sort of tradition of intellectual uh, holism and scientific holism throughout the 20th century.